Mimi was playing happily when she received some terrible news. Her grandmother was seriously ill and had been hospitalized. This news filled Mimi with worry and sorrow. She knew she had to pack her things quickly and go visit her grandmother immediately. With tear-filled eyes, Mimi carefully packed her clothes into a suitcase, reminiscing about the beautiful memories she had with her grandmother. The times her grandmother told her fairy tales, the delicious meals her grandmother cooked, and the loving advice her grandmother always gave. Once everything was ready, Mimi hurried to the airport, her heart heavy with anxiety. The flight was long and stressful. Mimi could only hope that the plane would land quickly so she could reach her grandmother in time. As soon as the plane touched down, Mimi quickly caught a taxi and headed straight to the hospital. On the way, there was only one thought in her mind. I hope grandma is still well so I can take care of her and be with her. When she arrived at the hospital, Mimi rushed into the intensive care unit where her grandmother was lying. But the sight before her left Mimi stunned. Her grandmother lay there, frail, surrounded by machines. Mimi couldn't hold back her tears as they streamed down her face. She held her grandmother's hand and softly called, Grandma, I'm here. But her grandmother only smiled faintly, her eyes slowly dimming. Mimi realized that she had arrived too late. Her grandmother had left this world. A deep sense of regret washed over Mimi. Why didn't she come sooner to care for her and say goodbye? In the days that followed, Mimi quietly organized the funeral, doing everything she could to ensure her grandmother had a peaceful farewell. But the pain of loss and regret still weighed heavily on Mimi's heart. She knew that from now on, she would never see her grandmother again. No one to tell her stories or comfort her when she was sad. Mimi's story reminds us to cherish the moments with our loved ones while they are still with us. Don't let regret become a burden on the path we continue to walk.